Now let's go to the cart uh, page. Uh, you will have two options. The first one is to set a layout for your cart page. And the other one is to set a layout also for the cart page, but when it doesn't have any products in it. To give you an example, I will go to the uh, to the front end. I will open the cart page. I didn't add anything to the cart. Oh, I already have one product in the cart. Okay, this is the default layout of uh, the cart page. And we can change that by selecting one of the uh, layouts uh, uh, just right here, the default cart layout. If you clear the cart or uh, the client visited the cart page and he didn't add anything to the cart, he will just get this almost empty page with, with this message and the return to shop button and you can change this layout by selecting a layout right here on the empty cart layout and this is a great option since the empty cart is just a waste of space you're not making any use uh, out of it so you can recommend uh, products on this page so if I go uh, to the settings and select uh, one of the cart, the cart layout and click on save changes. I will go to uh, the shop and add any of the products to the cart. Go to the cart page again and reload the page. This layout will be used on the cart as you can see right here. Which is again far better than the uh, default uh, one uh, okay I didn't create any layouts for the empty cart but basically the empty cart uh, you, you, there's no specific modules you you, sh you should use on the empty cart uh, it's up to you you can recommend uh, products you can use the shop module you can recommend anything else you can display your recent posts you can do whatever you want on the cart uh, the empty cart uh, page uh, all you have to do is just to go to the library and create a, a layout for this empty cart page and select it right here and if the client uh, visited the cart page uh, and it was empty uh, this empty cart layout will be used instead of the default uh, layout.